In the meantime, just a quick one. It's about earrings. And earrings. Bracelets. Earrings. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, there's one question about can men wear earrings and mm. gold, and can sisters wear earrings oh, yeah. and bracelets and adornments and that sort of thing. So I think that. Alhamdulillah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. All this zina decoration is allowed majority for the woman because Allah made the woman with their nature. You can uh, you know, decorate yourself you know, in a manner that Allah allowed you. But for the men, Alhamdulillah, I see a lot of men in front of me. They don't have earring with them because they are men. They are real men. So, <laughs> so if there's a man who hear one earring, that is half man. <laughs> So the man should behave like a man. You know? And the prophet did say that Allah will curse the man who want to be like a woman. The same thing goes to the woman who like to behave like a man, dress like a man. No, you're not supposed to do that. This earring belongs to them, to our sisters, not to you. you know? So if you want to poke anything, you poke other side. Don't poke here. You know? yeah, it's, 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 it's very important. I, I really don't understand what's happening to the men today. No, I really don't understand. Sometimes they do things. Now, even the Jahiliya don't do it. Even the pagan don't do it. No? Now, Shaitan also got shocked. You know? the Shaitan also was suddenly, they see what's happening to these people. You know? Yeah, we know who is shaitan, you know. But shaitan don't do this thing. No. Shaitan, they are very handsome men, you know. <laughs> so may Allah guide us, brother. Please stay away from things that is not fit for us. Yeah? You know why the Prophet said, Woman, you, are, you can wear gold, you can dress silk. Dress, why? Your silk is very fine. It's very soft material. The man know, the prophet said, don't wear silk. Unless you have certain kind of skin disease that you are allergic with any other material except silk, then you, you can. You know when you wear something that is very soft and you walk also very soft like the silk. <laughs> no? It confuses a lot of people behind you. <laughs> no? It confuses the people. Is this a he or she? <laughs> it's not good. No? Brother and sister, I have experience with that. <coughs> you know, when I was in the office before, there are a group of kunsa. Yeah? A group of kunsa. They are male, but they just want to be like female. So they came to see us to have a dialogue. You know what is a dialogue about? A majority are Muslim. But when they enter my office, I was just looking, they look so beautiful. <laughs> More beautiful than the lady. <laughs> they make everybody confused again. Are they really the kunsa or, or they are real lady? But when they start to talk, then you know, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what they asked me? They said, Sheikh, we just want some advice from you. I said, please. We want to know that when we pray, when we want to pray in the mosque, which staff should we join? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, they still pray to Allah. They are better than the zakar who don't pray to Allah. Yeah, they are better than the men. So I look at them and say, have you an experience, any bad experience in the mosque? Yeah, because sometimes when we went to join the men's side, the men chase us away. He said, don't get close to me. With my wudu will get invalid. <laughs> so when they went to the, the, to the group belonged to the Muslim, huh? the woman was scream. He said, the man is with us. I said, for your situation, you better pray at home. <laughs> don't create confusion to anybody. You know? Pray at home. Since you claim yourself as a Muslim, may Allah guide you. We hope one day you become either a man or a woman. <laughs> Don't become between. Yeah? And then you know in my country, you have area that after 12 midnight, you see these people coming up. Their business starts at 12 midnight. And sometimes, 
you have this, police will go there and rape them, arrest them. But you know, these people, they love policemen. <laughs> if this group of police has been sent to arrest these people, after that, they will take a gusul. You know, they take a gusul. They take a bath. They say, how can we arrest this kind of people? Because these people love to be arrested. They are not going to run from the police. When the police come and grab them, oh, my brother, my darling, you see. The police will push them away. You know, it's not easy to deal with this, this kind of people. So anyhow, yes, yeah, be a man or be a woman. And we have cases, people who came, one, according to the IC, according to their birth certificate, is a she. But now she wants to become a he. Because she's in love with a she. <laughs> and then he came to the office and said, I want to marry she and she. How can you get married she and she? <laughs> but I'm a he. What is your proof? Your name said you are a she. But you have another group of people you call al kuntha muskil. That means people who are born with two organs. And then they got to refer back to the specialist and the doctor will analyze the whole situation and they will finalize yeah, what is going to happen to this. Whether it's a he or she and they go through an operation. Once they've gone through the operation, after they check the hormone and everything, then they will decide, now, if it, once upon a time is she, now he become he. And then when he decides it's he, we accept he as a he. Then they got to have a proof that the doctor, the specialist have confirmed that now she is a he now. Then we'll accept a he. Because we only accept he or she. We cannot except he, she. <laughs> yeah? May Allah bless us now. I mean... Yeah. You have a last one? <laughs>